Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman from Fishing Florida Radio, which broadcasts every Saturday morning, 6 to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here, down here in Florida. You can catch us on iHeartMedia, the application for your phone to listen to. We sometimes put it on Facebook or YouTube Live, and we just kind of go through everything that's going on. Make sure you watch through the end, and you can find out how to win some free gear. So, I finally got my Shimano Corrado DC-150, and the DC stands for Digital Control. It's been one of the hottest products or hottest reels to come out in years. It won, I think it won last year, Best Reel in the iCast, which is the uh, the American Sport Fishing Association has a, a big, massive show that's for vendors and for buyers and they allow the media to come in and we're able to go check out things and it's where all the new lures and everything come out every year and it's it's humongous and last year the shimano curato dc came out and it just took over everything their shimano is backed up beyond belief on these reels i uh ordered one several months ago and just got it Tuesday night, just a couple nights ago. And of course, when I got it, I was unbelievably excited about it. I, I mean, I couldn't, couldn't wait to get it. Now I should say, I am a spinning reel fan. I've had one day where I was forced to use a bait caster and I went, I was in a tournament, one of the few tournaments I ever go to with one of the best bass guides on Lake Toho or and the Kissimmee chain named Joe Ventrello. And he said, Steve, you're not using, you're not using a spinning rod. I'm gonna make, force you to use a bait caster. And I did, and we came in second place, pretty much because of him, because he's an unbelievable, exceptional guide. Um, it's, if you're, if you're looking for a guide in Orlando, it's superbassguide.com, Joe Ventrello, unbelievable. So, some stuff about the Corrado DC-150. Uh, the retail price is $249.99. It is a control braking system that utilizes a microcomputer to monitor the spool to speed one every 1,000 times every second. That's kind of hard to say. 1,000 times every second to, to apply the perfect amount of brake to prevent backlash. And I am the perfect person to test that out. Why? I don't use, like I said, I don't use bait casters. Uh, so it's a little odd. The Shimano Corrado DC-150 has a six plus one bearing system. It is has It uses a lightweight CA4 carbon alloy construction. It's about 7.8 ounces uh, compared to the Corrado K, which everybody loved and is one of the best reels Shimano has ever made. The Corrado K weighs 7.6 ounces. So there's very little difference in the two. The two. One that has the digital computer, digital control, or a microchip so you don't backlash. The other one is the, the full-on thing. And the, the DC Corrado that I'm going to show you is 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. So... Uh, you can make fun of me as much as you want. I don't mind. Um, like I said, I've used a bait caster one time, and that was with Joe. And it, it comes down to comfort level. Uh, you go fishing, you want to catch fish. I don't want to have to deal with backlashes and all that stuff. But the new Corrado is supposed to be anti-backlash proof. Now, I there's some things behind that. It has four settings. You can put it on open if you're a great caster, or you can tone it down just like any other reel. It has that, that computer that makes it anti-backlash, and it has a little tuner so that you can so that you can tighten up, tighten it up as it goes. I'm gonna cast a spinning rod and the new and a bait casting rod. They're both seven foot rods from Castaway. Both are Invictus 2s. Both are the same type of action. And I'm going to start off by just doing a pitch, taking a video of how far I can shoot. You notice this arm kind of flows around when I'm holding the camera. 
it's kind of weird. But I'm gonna start off by just seeing how far I can cast the same exact weight of uh, Power Pro, the same exact hook, Daiichi hook, and the same exact Saltwater Assassin. So that's what I'm gonna start off with to see how far it will go. And uh, then I'll start with the Corrado afterwards. So here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So. Same type of rod. I've got this on setting two and locked down fairly, fairly tight. Now I'm gonna tell you the first thing, even though this is into the wind, this reel makes the best sound in the whole world when you're casting it. So I'm gonna cast it. You can see I've got it set up so it's gonna take a little bit. But I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit. So it really doesn't go at all, barely as you can see. So that when I cast it, I will not have to use my thumb. I will actually cast and I'm just going to put my thumb like that and we're going to see if we can, if it'll backlash. Now again, this is on number two, tightened down where it's supposed to be. So here we go. Now that wasn't a very good cast. Here we go again, take two. Another not very good cast, but no backlashes. I seem to be casting right into the wind and the wind seems to be taking it. See, no backlashes, but that wasn't very far. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So let's say that was about sixty feet compared to a hundred and six feet. Same lure, same action of reel, action of rod, same line, same everything. So We'll say 106, that's at setting two, and it won't backlash. Hasn't backlashed yet. Oh, that went there a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit and see what happens. A little bit better. Horrible accuracy. Oh, we got a little bit of back, a little bit of extra spin, but not bad. Now that one went, oh yeah. So here's my third one. I will say I'm gonna keep my thumb on it at the end so I can stop it there at the end. We're gonna cast that one again. I have to tell you, my accuracy is horrible with this casting rod. I don't know why. So there we go. Is there backlash? Maybe a little bit. But really not much. So let's see how far that one went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There it is, 30 steps. So about 90 feet. Now, that is just after probably 30 or 40 casts. Not really any backlash. I'm on stage two and it's not too bad.
46 steps. So day five and we're doing fairly well. We're a little more confident, a little more accurate and overall the feel of the rod and uh, really the re feel of the reel is has finally got got it there. I like to use the analogy that the the bait caster is like an automatic car. You got to use your you got to use a stick shift and you have it feels like you have a lot more control where your spinning rod is you just open the bale and cast. There's no backlashes, there's no there's none of the feel that you you get when using a bait caster. And that's really the biggest difference in in spinning and, and bait casting. Well, there's a lot of differences actually, but that's the way I look at it. Over the five these five days, I took a day off. I, day one, I had a, the ultimate backlash, bird's nest, where I actually had to cut it free. Day two, I was casting everywhere but where I was aiming, and I was probably getting about 90 feet. Day three, a little bit more accuracy, loosening up the the main spool, not the not the the digital control. I'm still on two, but I'm pretty much wide open on the other. There's there's actually two ways to do this, but still, if your thumb is on it, I'm not back back have any back casts at all or back lashes. So there's always a little bit of growth. Day four, well, that's a day I'd like to forget with it. I went fishing, urban fishing with lots of tons and tons of shrubs and everything around and other than I caught a bunch of tarpon wasn't really happy lost a lot of uh, lures and just overall not the best day but here day five well of course I had one extra day church and stuff so didn't fish on Sunday but today is almost is like six days since I've had it five six days since I've had the the, the uh, Shimano Corrado DC 150 and today I'm at 46 to 50 steps which in my which I figure is about anywhere from 135 to 150 feet so overall I think I'm doing pretty well accuracy is drastically better I'm able to do uh, pitch it unbelievably well so my feelings aren't as hurt as they were last week having said that there's still a lot of work to do and you have to keep your thumb on that spool and I'm not open all the way yet but I'm at two and doing really well so I have to say I'm pretty impressed of course my favorite thing about this is not that I'm getting first one of the, my favorite things is I'm not getting backlashes that's pretty impressive because that was not happening the first that first day when I had it on open you need to put it where it is it's a great reel if you want to start learning how to bait cast to have it on it does it will backlash if you have it open too much but it's designed that you can slowly learn and work your way up to where you will not backlash I mean everyone gets backlashes but you have to do a lot you have to do some work to to, to do it the more open it is the worse it is for you um, the zing is just, the sound of it when it casts is just phenomenal. There's not a better sound, I think. I love that. That's, that's my favorite thing, one of my favorite things about the reel so far. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy about it. So, overall, uh, my feel is that this is really a great reel. A great reel. Does it backlash? Yes. It will backlash on you but it's designed well enough that you can tighten things down and tighten, put it on four or put it on three. So four is the toughest to backlash, I'll tell you that. You will not backlash it on four, even, even with the other side of the spool wide open. It's impossible, it, it is impossible. Um, three, it's a little bit, you're getting a little more casting difference. Two, I'm getting a lot of casting difference. I had it on one for a little bit, and then had it opened up too much and I, I wasn't, I was getting backlashes. Just small ones, but not, not ones that I had to bird's nest where I had to cut them out. The reel is really phenomenal. The sound of it, the feel, the drag, it's really a great reel, especially for the money. I, I, I think this is one of those reels you could give to your son or 
someone young and say, you want to know, here's, here's a new way of fishing. If they're used to spinning reels or Zebco 202s or whatever they're used to, this is a good way to get them interested and back into fishing because there's, it's a little more fun. It's a, it's a little more work. They have to, they have to, they have to be patient and at the same time they have to stay focused. So thumbs up from me from, for this one. I'm I'm looking forward to continuing to use this reel. Um, the the Invictus rod it's on is phenomenal for me. Like I said, I had a I had a good day fishing, not a great day, because I lost a lot of lures. It would have been a great day if I didn't lose so many lures. But overall, it's 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 something very promising, and I think you'll be impressed by what Shimano has put out. So do us a favor if you like the video, get on there, subscribe, click the like button. Uh, comment, leave us a note, do whatever you want to do. We would love to hear from you, especially if you want some free prize packs. All you got to do is go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fishing Florida, and uh, just send us a private message. Or if you're more inclined, you can go, you can just email us directly. And that is info at fishing And we'll get you on that list for some prize packs. Like I said, if you don't notice, I have a jacket on. It's in Florida here, and the weather has changed drastically. You saw when I first started this, this was nice and sunny, and it was I was probably sweating. Now it's a little bit cooler, but I was trying to get this finished for y'all. Anyway, so like I said, hit us up. Get some of these prize packs. They're free. Special thanks to Shimano and... Uh, castaway rods and all the sponsors that help us out we really do appreciate it uh, you're going to see some more videos that are tackle oriented and also here a 2019 bassmaster classic odds youtube channel whatever you want to call this vlog so get out there go fishing take a kid fishing more importantly get them out of the how does he say it get it Get them out of the iPads and into the lily pads. High kick. Fat Cat Newton, there's a shout out. And uh, go check out this new Shimano reel. I think you'll be happily and very impressed by it. But until we see you again, get your fish on. And uh, to the guy here at the park who came over and told me there was no fishing, there's no water around. Are you crazy? Look around me. I was, I was fishing, I was casting on the soccer field. And he came over and told me there was no fishing here. No shit, Sherlock. There's no water. What the hell are people thinking?